Are you tired of your friends stealing your diamonds? Or do you just want a cool place to store all of your valuable resources? Then I have the perfect secret storage design for you. This may look like an ordinary wall, but if we grab a water bucket and click on this block here, a hidden door opens up, leading us into a huge secret storage room. To close the door behind us, all we have to do is grab our water back right here, and it closes the door, and now we're totally hidden in here to keep all of our items safe and do all of our crafting and really anything else that you want to do in this super cool hidden room. The design today that I'll be showing you how to build has 420 chests, giving you space for over 700,000 items. However, I did design it in a modular way, so basically if you want it to be bigger, you can just keep digging down and build more sections of the design. So really this build can be as big or as small as you want. And I'll quickly show you to leave the base, all we have to do is put the water back right here, it opens up the door, and then to close it behind us, we can just grab our water back, and it's totally hidden again. These are all the materials that you'll need in order to build along with me today. While you're gathering them up, also be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you find this video helpful. To begin the build, start by finding a flat wall on either a mountain or a big hill. Simply dig a 5 deep tunnel inside of the wall, just like so. Then on the side, one block in, dig out 3 additional blocks. If at any point while digging out this room it causes the outside to be exposed, just cover it up with either stone or dirt. For this wall here, we're going to dig out two blocks, but make sure it comes one more block to the front. Adjacent to our entrance, let's add a couple of sticky pistons on the back of the wall, and then beside the lower piston, add any block so that we can build a redstone path to the other side of the room. We need to staircase down so that in the corner, it's two blocks deep. Continue that trench at the back of the wall so that we can bring the redstone all the way across. When we get to the other side, remove this block here so that we can staircase the redstone back up to the main floor. Place an observer facing the wall. This is how we're going to open and close our door. Head to the outside and remove the block directly in front of that observer. And also remove the block next to that block. Replace those two blocks we just broke out with stone stairs facing the inside. Let's cover up the entrance with stone blocks, so this will be our door right here. And now it looks like a totally normal cliff face, but if we take our water bucket and waterlog this stair, it updates the observer and opens our door. To close the door, we just grab our water back, and it's as simple as that. Here's a quick look at all of the redstone, just in case you're having any troubles with it, hopefully you're able to troubleshoot it and get it working. To leave the room, just waterlog that stair again, and then just grab the water back to close the door behind you, and it looks like a totally normal cliff face. With the redstone done, let's work on building the actual storage room. Replace the floor in the middle with polished deep slate until you reach the back wall, and then place a dark oak slab on either side. Also replace the ground leading towards the observer with polished deep slate. Build up spruce plank walls directly beside our pathway, but make sure that you don't cover up those dark oak slabs. Let's also replace the ceiling with spruce planks. Add two trapdoors beside the observer, and this way we'll still be able to access those stairs to place and remove the water. Directly behind the last polished deep slate block, dig a 25 block tunnel. This is the start of the excavation for our main storage room. So this is going to be a pretty big hole, so make sure you got your diamond pickaxe ready, as this may take a little bit of time. I'd really recommend double checking all of your counting when digging this room out, just so that everything lines up and it'll save you any headache in the future. Once you reach the end of that 25 block tunnel, we need to dig out 5 blocks on both sides. This means that our room is going to have the dimensions of 25 blocks deep and 11 blocks wide. Just make sure that the room is centered with the entrance and you should be solid. Let's quickly dig out the rest of the room. Just like that, that's half of the room done, so let's dig out the other side, again 5 blocks deep. So your room should now be looking something just like this. So now what we need to do next is dig out 5 more blocks directly above the entire room. Here's what it looks like fully dug, so you should have a room that's 25 blocks deep, 
11 blocks wide, and 7 blocks high. We also need to remove some of these blocks by the entrance, so right in the center, remove 5 blocks wide, and then stop 1 block before you reach the ceiling. And finally, that's it for digging out the room, so it's finally time to start adding the details. Add an additional slab beside both of the dark oak slabs. Above those, build up stripped spruce log pillars until you reach the ceiling. Build a horizontal beam in between the top of the pillars. In the corners, add upside down stairs, in the center a trapdoor, and then fill in both of the sides of the logs with trapdoors. Replace the rest of the wall in between the pillars with spruce planks. Replace the plank directly above the entrance with an upside down stair. Diagonal to this log, add another stripped spruce log pillar. Let's continue these pillars along the entirety of the room with five block gaps in between them. The last pillar should line up directly beside the back wall. With all the pillars in, it should be looking just like this. Leave another 5 block gap coming off of this pillar here, and then we're going to mirror the exact same pillars on the other side of the room. So follow along with me, and let's build it up. This is how your room should be looking with all of the pillars in. Next, let's place horizontal logs in between the top of all of the pillars. Place upside down stairs in the corners of the logs. Then place trapdoors beside those stairs, and then cover up the insides of the pillars with trapdoors. Let's repeat this exact same arch design in between the rest of the pillars. Next, let's fill in all of the walls with spruce planks. Also extend the wall so that it's connected to all of the spruce log pillars. Here's how one section of the wall should look, so let's continue this around for the rest of the room. When you reach the back wall, replace all of the blocks in between the pillars with spruce planks. Let's continue filling in the rest of the walls with spruce planks on the right side of the room. With the walls filled in, let's start working on the ceiling. 
One block behind this stair here, create a row of stairs in between the pillars. Continue this along for the entirety of the room. Mirror the stairs on the other side of the room as well. Add another row of stairs above those stairs so that it staircases up to the ceiling. Let's continue this around for both sides of the room. Cover up the rest of the ceiling using spruce trap doors. Cover up this gap in the ceiling using spruce slabs. Make sure these are slabs because we're going to be placing chests in between these pillars and they won't be able to open if there's a full block above them. So let's continue this around for the rest of the room. The ceiling is all finished, so let's place lanterns in the center of all of the arches. Let's begin working on the floor. In between the bottom of all of the pillars, add a row of glowstone. Behind all of the glowstone, replace the floor with dark oak planks. In between all of the arches, add a row of polished deep slate. In the center of all of these square sections, add a crafting table. This will give us quick and easy access to crafting no matter where we are in the storage room. Let's dig out all of the remaining blocks inside of the square sections. Create a ring of stairs facing the crafting table. Let's repeat this for the rest of the sections. Fill in the remaining blocks in the center of the room with polished deep slate. To finish off the floor, replace any of the remaining gaps with dark oak planks. With the floor done, it's finally time to fill in our storage room with chests. Start by filling in the wall in between the pillars with chests facing the entrance. To avoid opening the chests while I'm placing these, I'm holding shift. Hold shift and right click on the side of all of the chests to turn them into double chests. I found that this is the easiest method for placing these and is the quickest. Fill in the rest of the sections and your room should look like this. Head to the back wall and remove the trap doors in between the pillars. 
in the center of the wall, place an upside down stair with a stone cutter on top. Let's add a painting above, but use some temporary blocks to control the size. Fill in the rest of the wall with double chests. That actually finishes off this build, but I quickly want to show you how to organize your items. If you hold shift, you can place item frames on the side of chests, which you can fill with any block that corresponds to what's inside. And as you can see, you can still open the chests without any problems. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found the tutorial helpful. As always, a super special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and happy building.